In this tutorial, we are going to simulate the flow around uh, the front wing of a formula car. And now we need to import the formula car front wing geometry. We used to generate the geometry from here, geometry 3D CAD models, for example, in the backward facing step flow and also the flow around aerofoils. But this time, since we already have the geometry, and they are service geometry, we can import the geometry using another method. So by clicking import service mesh. And this is uh, William F1 front wing, and we are going to open it. We can accept the default parameters, click OK. So it's been imported now, and you can see it's very nice streamlined um, formula front wing. OK, and actually you might already have some idea uh, or some understanding about this. The, the functions of this front wing is used to uh, generate downward force, which helps a uh, car to produce more grip on the road. Yeah, it's basically the upside down aerofoil. OK, so uh, we have the geometry, the simulation would be um, like put the front wing in the wind tunnel. And because you can see now the front wing is symmetric towards its uh, central plane. So in the simulation, we're going just uh, uh, simulate part of half of it. And OK, so the next step is to generate a block as a wind tunnel. So what we can do is in parts. So click parts and we can see this geometry front wing and we go back to parts, right click and new part shape. We are generating a block wrapping around this um, geometry. OK, so block. Now you can see the block is snapped to this geometry. And, but we want it to be larger, right? So we change two corners to define the size of this block. Okay. So for corner one, we can and define its uh, x is uh, minus four meter, and y is minus point oh three, and that is minus 0.9. OK, and you can see basically what we've changed is this point. And if we if we have a side view. Uh, let me change to the side view, side view. Um, OK. And uh, let me move it a little bit. It's better to have it the other way. Use. OK, so basically we change this point. It's minus four meter downstream from the origin. And the origin is in here. So minus four. And y is minus 0 0.3. So here, this distance is minus 0 0.3 because there, there will be a wheel. So this is a flow we are going to simulate. And Z is um, is this coordinate, so it cuts through the center plane of this um, front wing. Now let's do corner two, and which is 1.2 meter, 1.5 meter. Oh, sorry, 1.5 and 1.5 meter. Okay. So now you can see the dimension of this simulation. Yeah, this is a virtual wind tunnel space. Then we create, remember, just click create once, otherwise you will generate uh, several blocks. OK, just click once. And now you can see the block in here, and we can see the services. And the next step is we have the block. Later on, we will set this as inlet, different boundary conditions. So we need to separate the service into different regions, different patches. 
So we go click here, block service, right click, and I choose split by patch. Okay, you will get a sequence of services, and you might have different numbers, but um, now the task is to rename each service and split them. So let's first do inlet. So once you click a service, it will be highlighted into purple or pink. So we set as inlet and create, just cre click once. Okay, so once it's splitted, it will disappear. And we click the outlet. We will change this into outlet and create. And we know this is a flaw. Okay, flaw, create. We know this symmetry plan. Symmetry plan. Create. So the last two won't be if we this two will be become exterior. And if we click both, choose both, we won't be able to create. So we will just rename it later. Okay, so this basically is the exterior service. We can simply rename it into exterior wall and enter it. So now we have all the boundaries, inlet, outlet, symmetry plan, floor, and exterior. Okay, so we have the wind tunnel, virtual wind tunnel now, and we have the um, formula car. And you can see this wind tunnel, virtual wind tunnel, just uh, wraps half of the uh, front wing, okay? And so similar as the aerofoil simulation, we want to exclude the geometry from the wing, from the block, then we can build up the simulation domain. And what we do is click both, not like this. Um, okay, we click both, right click, and choose Boolean and subtract. And we keep it as, as it is. The target part is block. Okay, then you will see a sub subtract the subtract is a domain the entire domain and excluding this um the formula car geometry and you can see here so this is uh, the service generated by the subtract and exterior floor inlet outlet and symmetry plan so this is what we have okay so now this will be the simulation domain. And OK, so this is still parts. Then we can right click and assign part to regions. So this step allows us to uh, set up the boundary condition. OK, so you can see we need to highlight the subtract part. And it's very important to change a middle option and a create a boundary for each service and apply. Just apply once, remember, and close. OK, so in the regions, we will be able to see the, um, the different boundaries we have. OK. So this now later on, once the physics can is set, we can set up the boundary condition. 